Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to play Memoir 45 along with uh, Eastern Front expansion. And uh, this is quite an interesting battle because <laughs> I decided for one of the battle, one of the parts of the Battle of Kursk, there are some scenarios for this uh, biggest tank battle uh, of the World War II. And one of them is Prohorovka, which is uh, two, uh, two boarded uh, scenario and well I can't play it uh, because I don't have two boards and even if I would have two boards it would be really hard to uh, fit for my camera but luckily there is another scenario for the Kursk battle it is titled Ponili and this is uh, the scenario I am going to play today <laughs> historical background the village of Ponili was the focal point of the general Walter models planet breakthrough in the area north of Kursk. Three German infantry divisions were ordered to assault the village, while elements of two panzer divisions supported the attack. Soviet minefields, intense fire from dug-in tanks and artillery, threw the armor back, while the village itself witnessed some of the most bitter hand-to-hand -hand combat of the war. Hill uh, 215.3 was finally taken, and although the German push gained much of the village, the Soviet defense remained strong. The German force was, was eventually bled white in the days of fighting that followed, and uh, the effective breakthrough was never achieved. So, this is uh, our uh, scenario, and uh, you may see that uh, my setup is, uh, is the same, but uh, the board is opaque. I placed my board like this, because I will move uh, Germans uh, mostly, I believe, because they are attacking, so it will be easier for me to move them without reaching down on the other side of the board. Also, uh, this scenario com comes with minefields, and we have to set up a couple of minefields on the board. You can see there are five minefields here, in this row, and uh, to, uh, to make it, I put all my minefields in the opaque cup, and I'm going to draw them randomly and place where they should be. So, let's do it. One, two, three, four and five. Okay, here are our minefields. And now, as for the special rules. Germans have two elite ar armor units, each of them has uh, four tanks, and uh, 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 to win this scenario, one side my, my, uh, has to get seven medals, so this is a very big number of medals we need, and there are two medals for the control of Ponili. If, uh, if one side uh, controls more uh, hexes of the Poniri than the other, then it gets two medals. So at the beginning of the scenario, there are two medals for the Soviet side because they they already they control all the hexes at the beginning. But it will probably change during the course of the game, so we will see how it goes. Also, Soviets have pretty strong artillery because they have three uh, tank, three uh, ta uh, three artillery uh, units, while Germans have none. And all their tanks are dug in, uh, just like all the uh, infantry units safe to the ones in Poniri. And all the German units are grouped here, so they have to move through these minefields, and uh, they are in uh, range, they will be sh quickly in range of uh, Soviet tanks, so this will be probably a very uh, bloody uh, battle. Okay, that's all. Let's check for the cards. So, uh, German player has uh, six cards, and he moves first while Russian player has uh, four, four cards. And we have to remember that this uh, Commissar rule is still in effect. So, let's get our cards. I will shuffle them a bit. I shuffled them before, but let's do it again, just to be sure that everything is okay. Okay, and now Germans have six. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, and Soviets have 4. Alright, so Germans are first. Let's check our cards, and what do we have here? We want to move all these tank units, of course, and uh, our infantry to reach Ponili. 
the problem is that all our tanks are on this uh, uh, on this flank, so we will need cards that would allow us to move them. Oh, we have one. This is good. And now these are for the left flank counter attack recon and two. Okay, so I will start with playing this card and moving all my car all my tanks. I would like to clear this minefield as soon as possible to to see what is here, to reach uh, this uh, area and start destroying, <laughs> let's hope so, this uh, Soviet tank. So I will move three of my tank units. I will move both of these elite units, uh, uh, hoping to get rid uh, get rid of these minefields. So one, two, three. So this tank unit moves here. Uh, minefield, oh my, there are four die, uh, four, four dice to roll, and let's make it, Ooh, two tanks are gone on these mines, too bad, so we still can move. Uh, of course we cannot move, because we uh, spent all our movement points and we entered the minefield. And when you enter the minefield you have to stop. So we lost two tanks, this minefield still is in effect, so we know that we shouldn't enter this hex, because this, this, uh, this is going to hurt. And now I'm going to fire at these Russian tanks. So I'm firing with three die, and uh, there is minus one for uh, sandbags, so this is two 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 uh, two dice attack and one hit and one retreat but uh, uh, they may ignore the first flag because they are in sandbag so that's all for them okay let's go for these uh, tanks one two three and let's check one okay let's see okay this is a retreat well let me check if retreat works for minefield Mm -hmm. I am not sure actually. Yes, uh, we ha we have to ignore uh, flux, so uh, we can just enter this hex. We have to stop because of the minefield, but uh, we made it. I think this this hex is pretty safe. So I am firing at these Soviets with the two. Okay, one hit, one Soviet tank to go. And now I can move one more unit. One, two, three. They drive here and they attack the, this Soviet unit. Miss. Okay, that's uh, all my attack. I get yet another card, and now it is Soviet time to shine. So, first of all, Soviets have to choose one card for, for their uh, current movement and one for the Commissar. So, I think I will choose this card, and for the Commissar I think I will choose this card. So this card goes under Commissar and have to be played again. These two cards are for Soviets to to, to, to wait and now this card is used. So I have three of my uh, units uh, to, uh, to, uh, to comment and first of all they are firing at this German group. One hit, one tank to go. They are firing at them as well. One grenade, one tank to go, so this German unit is no more, Soviets get one medal. And by final shot, they are firing at this unit, two flags, so they have to retreat two hexes. I wish there would be two grenades or two tanks, but well, it is not that bad. So Soviets get another card. And now it is German time. Let's check. Move out, move four infantry units, so we can get into Poniri, or I, I might try to continue my attack here. Or I think I have something better to do. 
I actually play counter-attack. And because of that I can, I can play the same card as Soviet player played. So I can move all my units here. So that's what I'm going to do. I move this uh, uh, elite uh, tank unit. One, two, and here is a minefield, so we have to stop. We have to roll one die for minefield again. This is a miss. And I'm going to fire onto this Soviet group. Oh, wait, I will re-roll. It is one grenade, so we scored one hit. Now, these tanks are moving here. Zero. Great. It is a dummy. And let me check if dummy blocks your movement as well. Yes, it stops you, but it is removed from the board while revealed. So, uh, we stop here and we are... I am firing onto this Soviet tank again, because there is only one Soviet tank, so there is a chance to destroy this unit. Oh, but not with rolls like that. And since it was three, so one, two... Maybe not. Not like that. One, two, three. Okay, that's all. This card is gone. Germans gained another one. And now Soviets. Soviets have to use this one, which was under the Commissar. So they will play this card. And now they will have to choose another one. Hmm, I think I will choose this card. <laughs> so this one, this one goes under the Commissar. This, uh, and uh, this one is used, is in use. So, first of all, um, this tank fires onto this 4 tank unit, because this is definitely the most dangerous unit here. One hit. And for the other Sov uh, Soviet units, well, uh, well, I will use this artillery. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and artillery on the range of 5 fires with one die. Oh, it is a miss. And this artillery, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And artillery has only six hexes range, so I cannot fire. So, no fire for this flank. Okay, this card is done. A Soviet player gains another card, at the, and it's time for Germans. Hmm. I will continue my progress let's call it progress here I am moving onto this hex and I will attack this Soviet lone tank oh too bad I failed and now this unit makes the same movement and they can ignore first flag okay so that's all for them one card, and now Soviets have to pl uh, can play this this card which was under the Commissar, and which card is going to be used next? We don't have a cards for this flank for Soviets, so I think I will choose this card for the middle flank. Okay, one card for Soviets, and now I can uh, activate all these tanks. This is good. So first, they are. Uh, I will start here, and they are firing onto this group with three dice. Epic miss. Now they are firing on them. One hit. They are firing at uh, them. Wow! Two hits and a flak. Mm, this artillery, one, two, three, four, fires at this tank with the two a miss and these tanks are firing at him with three a miss okay that that's what that was a series of, on uh, of the very bad rolls the soviets had a great uh, card but the rolls were extremely bad so now time for germans three move out two two one and one so I will I will continue here. I will use this recon card, and I will move. I think them. They are moving here. They have to check this the minefield. Okay. So we now this is two. So we have to roll. Uh, one tank is done. 
and now I will fire onto this tank. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, I have to reroll this one, but st still it is a hit, so this tank is no more. Germans scored their first medal, and now because it was a recon, I can uh, draw two cards and choose one of them. So, one and two. Their final hour is, is good. <coughs> Three in the middle is not bad either, but I'm this, I keep it uh, their final hour. So now Soviets. They have to play this one which was under the Commissar. And now we have to choose a card for the next round. Hmm. Counter attack is pretty good, but uh, this one is useless. So I will stay with this card. I will give Soviets one more card. And now two of the Soviet units here are going to make their actions. So I will start with this artillery. One, two, three, four, five. It fires at this infantry. One soldier to go. And I will move one of my infantry units here. So it will be harder for Germans to get deeper into Poniri. Let's hope so. Okay, that's all for Soviets. Time for Germans. I will use their final hour. I have to roll the, uh, the number of car, uh, die equal to the number of my cards, so I have six. And now, for each uh, unit symbol, <coughs> one unit of this type is moved. For, for each star, one unit of your cho choice is ordered. And orders units uh, battle with one additional die. Okay, this is going to be... Mm -hmm. Okay, this is nothing and this is nothing. So we get three infantry and one, uh, one uh, any unit of our choice. So I will move these tanks. They are moving here and they are going to remove these sandbags. And they are attacking these uh, Soviet tanks. One flag, well, they can ignore the flag. And now my infantry. Oh, sorry, I should roll one more die because there was uh, I, uh, b because there was this card. Ah, a miss. And now my infantry. I can move uh, my, uh, my uh, two of my infantry units. Sorry, three. There was four. Okay, so now one, two, one, two, one, two. Or maybe not. One, two. Okay, that's for the German movement. One more card for Germans and now Soviets. The Soviets that have this two, this card. Uh, sorry, uh, this card was uh, played before. So, card under the Commissar. It is three, and now we have to choose another card for the Commissar. I will stay with this uh, with the same card as before, and. One more card for Soviet, and now this card. First I'm going to fire onto this uh, German unit. I have... Uh, the, this is one, uh, one hex range, so uh, no, I will fire normally with three. But they are in the uh, town, so this is... Sorry, in the village, so this is minus one. So two. One hit. They are doing the same but they are firing at the two hexes range so, and mi minus one, so they roll with one die only. One hit. And I will use my artillery. One, two, three. This is two die. And I can ignore terrain protection because this is artillery. So one hit. Okay, we get our third medal. Sorry, fourth medal. So Soviets are doing so far very good. Okay, so now Germans. I have no cards for this flank, which is bad. And not much cards for the middle. I will play move out. And now, 
this infantry enters this hex and they can uh, they, uh, they have to stop and units moving in cannot battle so I can't battle fight, uh, entering this hex they are moving here and again they, yes they still cannot battle this infantry moves here one two and they are moving in and because this is woods they have to stop okay so that's for German movement time for Soviets let's check under Commissar this is three now let's choose another card for Commissar oh this is great card okay and now for Soviets uh, first uh, I, uh, I have to I will use this artillery one two three so I can fire at them with the two or maybe here no they, I will target this hex so this is two and two flags so they have to one two run run forest run Sec my second uh, 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 attack will be here so I'm firing with two two hits good and my last attack will be here I'm firing here so this is two hexes range so it will be one okay one helmet is out good great and time for Germans oh sorry my camera <laughs> All right, sorry for this problem. And now Germans, you, well, you can already tell this is extremely bloody battle for Germans. And now minus one, sorry, one, three, two, two, two. Okay, most of our cards refer to the uh, left flank, so I will play pincer move. Mm -hmm. I'm moving my tanks here and they are attacking this hex. Oh, sorry, two and two misses this tank fires here oh nothing this is a very unlucky situation and now this group here they are moving onto this hex and well no they are on this uh, in this side well they can move because they are between so they move here and uh, they are going to fire at, at this hex. This is one die. So it is the first Ivan who is killed actually in this uh, in this scenario. So this is bad. This is very bad for Germans. And now Soviets have direct from HQ. Now they have to choose another one under for the commissar. Oh, this card is going to be useful. And Soviets. Okay, I, ha I can uh, die, uh, I can comment any four units of my uh, choice. So, I will start here firing at this infantry unit with two. Okay, he is gone. We gained another medal. This is Soviet fifth medal. Next. Uh, these Soviet, uh, these Soviet uh, tanks are activated. They are firing at uh, this lone German tank. He is de dead. So yet another hit for uh, Soviets. They have six, and now they need one more medal to win. Ha! Huh. Okay, I will start with these tanks firing here. This is our tilt shot, and so, and Germans have to withdraw one hex, and second hit. I will fire with these tanks onto these tanks. Oh, one hit, and one flak. Sorry, this was here, and it is here. So if you if we would actually destroy this tank, it would be the end of the battle, because the Soviets have already uh, seven, six medals, and the Germans have none. 
so this is definitely very one-sided battle. Okay, what the Germans can do? <laughs> Maybe I should use this card, but I don't think I, it will change anything. So, these tanks. One, two, three. They move like that. This infantry. One. And this infantry. One, two. Okay, so uh, they can... Uh, sorry, they moved onto the hill. So there is no movement restric restriction. So I'm going to fire at these Soviets, this is a two hex attack and they are in the sandbox, so I can fire with one, three, it is a miss, and now I cannot move, I, I cannot attack with any of my other units, so that's all, Germans get one card, Soviets get their card from the Commissar, this one, they have to choose another card for the Commissar, Air power, okay. This is going to be just great. And now Soviets are firing twice from this in the, in this flank. So it is uh, these tanks first. They are targeting this uh, German tank, and he is done. And this is uh, Soviet seventh medal. So Soviets win the day. It was a flawless vic victory. No, so almost flawless victory. Uh, Germans gained one medal only and Soviets get seven so you can see you can already tell this is extremely ha uh, tough battle for uh, Germans they are attacking into well defended positions uh, Soviets may fire anywhere uh, especially here and and also there are these minefields can be really bad especially if you get something nasty like like these four let's see what was here two okay so only one dummy well not, not bad the problem, the major problem is that uh, only cards from this right flank allows us to uh, activate these tanks. So we, if we don't get many of them, we can't even move these tanks uh, much often. Well, there was a couple of cards that allowed uh, us to move these, car, uh, these tanks in this, uh, uh, par, in this game, so it wasn't that bad, but, uh, uh, but sadly Soviets also had a couple of cards that allowed them to fire at our upcoming tanks and destroy them effectively. So that's all for this battle, it was pretty quickly and very bloody. I expected this to be quite a long uh, game because the, the, this is uh, s seven medals to win the battle, uh, so uh, I thought that might uh, it might take uh, maybe an hour, maybe even more to win this scenario and it ended very quickly instead. So thank you for watching, these things happens in the Memoir 44. And see you to the next time.